Hi, and welcome to This is Barry. We're going to be discussing the plot and ending of the 2022 movie, Where the Crawdads Sing. This video contains spoilers, so come back after watching the movie. The film is a crime drama directed by Olivia Newman, based on a book by the same name. The plot is centered on a girl who grew up alone in the marsh and is presently accused of murdering a city boy. Let's get the obvious out of the way. Did she kill him? The movie's ending reveals that Kaya Clark indeed murdered Chase Andrews because she realizes he would never stop coming back for her. Growing up, observing the way of the marsh, Kaya doesn't define death as a tragedy or a sin, and that every creature must do what it needs to survive, and sometimes for prey to live, its predator must die. So, how did Kaya kill Chase? It is precisely how her lawyer states it. 11.30 p.m., without a single witness seeing her, she catches the last bus from Greenville to Barkley Cove and rides that bus disguised. We know because neither of the bus drivers that night could identify her as a passenger all the way back to Barkley Cove. And then, in less than an hour, she tracks down Chase in the middle of the night, lures him to the tower, murders him, wipes away all physical evidence, and catches the 2.30 a.m. bus back to Greenville. Again, without a single witness seeing her. And after doing all that, she meets with her publishers the following day, unruffled. Does this mean Kaya's lawyer knew? No, the lawyer finds it impossible for Kaya to do something like this, and that is why he confidently narrates it to the jury. The jury believes it would have been implausible for Kaya to have done something incredibly elaborate like this and pardons her. Why did Kaya kill Chase? Kaya understood that Chase was a predator who always needed the last word. He would never leave Kaya alone and would constantly hound her and hurt her. We see him beat and almost rape her. After that, he comes to her house looking and completely wrecks the home. Kaya projects that her life will constantly involve hiding in fear, and the only way for her to be free is by killing Chase. Why did Chase continue to wear the necklace Kaya gave him? Chase wanted to have the cake and eat it too. He married Pearl because of his social status and wanted to continue having a relationship with Kaya on the side. He wore the necklace because he was obsessed with Kaya in a very toxic way. Now, let's address some of the frequently asked questions about the film. What happened to Tate? Kaya's first boyfriend, Tate, gets cold feet and doesn't return to her after joining college, but he truly loves Kaya, realizes his mistake, and returns to be with her after five years. After the legal case, the two get back and grow old together until Kaya finally dies. After this, Tate finds her old diary with the hidden necklace and realizes that she had killed Chase back in the day. Why did Kaya's mom leave and what happened to her after that? After one point, all the physical abuse makes Kaya's mom's mind snap. She leaves in her alligator shoes and arrives at her sister Rosemary's place. She doesn't talk for months, then about a year later, she remembers she has children. She takes the help of Rosemary to write a letter to her husband. Kaya's mom's letter states that she wants to come and get her children. Her dad gets furious and destroys the letter. In secret, he writes a letter to the mother warning her that if she ever came back, he'd beat the kids unrecognizable. Why did Kaya's family leave her? The family doesn't leave Kaya. They run for their lives. After the mother leaves, each of the children gets physically abused by their father. Unable to bear it, they flee. Kaya's brother advises her to run for it too, but she decides to stay on. What happened to Kaya's father? Once everyone leaves, Kaya's father tries to get along with his daughter. But eventually, after getting that letter from the mother, he bails on his daughter leaving her to fend for herself alone in the marsh. One can only imagine that the father drank himself to death somewhere. And that brings us to the end of this video. What did you think about the movie? Do leave your thoughts in the comments section. And for more film explanations, visit thisisbarry.com.